Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. The students of class 5, the students, your general science teacher, and today you will learn more about the microorganisms. As you already know that the microorganisms are the very tiny living organisms. They are very tiny living organisms and they can only be seen with the help of microscope. It means we cannot see them without the microscope. So here is an other category of microorganisms that is known as protozoans or protozoa. So protozoans are also unicellular organism. It means they contain only single cell, only one cell like bacteria. But if they enter in the body, they can live and grow. It means they can grow inside the living organisms. They mostly grow on the moist places. Okay, where they grow? They grow on the moist places. It means that wo places which are ho? moist, where there is a little water. So mostly they can found in water. Where they present in water. Mein. So protozoans can also cause the diseases like dysentery and diarrhea. These two diseases are caused by the protozoans. So protozoans cause which diseases? Number one, dysentery and number two, diarrhea. These two diseases are caused by the protozoans. Okay, did you know? That the bacteria is a plural word and the bacterium is a singular word. Look at this. Singular, the singular from the bacteria is bacterium. And a singular protozoa is called the protozoan. Protozoan is a singular and protozoa is a multicellular. Fungus is singular from the fungi. Okay, fungi are the multicellular and only singular is called fungus. So now microorganisms and disease. So microorganisms can cause so many diseases. Okay, some diseases are caused when the body does not get the correct supply of the minerals and vitamins. Okay, some diseases can be uh, caused when when there is a deficiency of vitamins and minerals jab hamari body mein minerals aur vitamins ki kami ho jaye tab bhi hum kya ho jate hain ill ho jate hain so in bimariyon ko hum kya bolte hain deficiency diseases okay and some diseases are caused by the and some diseases are caused because a part of the body stop working properly kuch bimariyan hamare body ke be organs agar properly calm na kare to bhi hum bimar ho jate hain such diseases are liver infection heart kidneys or other organs of the body and these are non communicable these diseases are non communicable if our one any organ is defected no any other person will get this disease why because these are the non communicable diseases it means ke agar non communicable disease hamare kisi body ke organ ko ho jaye to wo kisi aur ko nahi hogi because it is non communicable deficiency diseases can be prevented by eating these foods okay so what are the foods look at this fish egg carrot bread eggs meat fruits lemon orange and uh, milk, bread, cheese, eggs, almonds, peanuts and these are the some vegetables. So these vegetables can be uh, eat to prevent the deficiency diseases. So now what are the communicable diseases? It means okay, which disease can be transferred from person to person. Okay, the communicable diseases which can be spread from per person to person are like flu, cough, mumps, chicken pox, and these are caused by the microorganisms. So when microorganisms enter in the body, we can, hum to bimar ho hi jate hain, lekin jo humare saath wale hote hain, wo bhi kya ho jate hain? Ill ho jate hain, thik hai? So microorganisms can enter in the body through nose, mouth, or when we breathe, drink, sneeze, coughing, 
so these all are the diseases which are caused by the microorganisms some common colds measles are the examples which are caused by the viruses these diseases can pass from one person to an other person so some diseases spread through direct contact and they can also contact through the cut in the skin it means कि अगर मैं खड़ी हूँ मेरे साथ भी दूसरी खड़ी है अगर मुझे कफ है तो मेरे खांसने से उसको भी कफ हो जाएगी ये क्या था डायरेक्ट कांटेक्ट था इनडायरेक्ट कांटेक्ट इज डेट कांटेक्ट अगर मेरी स्किन पे कोई जख्म हो जाए ठीक है तो वो जख्म खुला रहेगा तो वहाँ से जर्म्स ट्रांसफर होंगे किसी और इंसान में ठीक है तो हमें क्या करना चाहिए इनसे खुद को बचाना चाहिए हमें पट्टी करनी चाहिए या फिर सनीप्लास वगैरह लगानी चाहिए ओके इंसेक्ट्स एंड वॉम्स कैन ऑल्सो कॉज diseases which insects like mosquito female mosquito cause malaria okay some other uh, insects also cause the diseases like plague typhus sleeping sickness these all are the caused by the insects such as mosquitoes fleas bugs and sand flies okay infection can be caused by the different टाइप्स ऑफ वर्म्स इन्फेक्शन डिफरेंट वर्म्स की वजह से भी होते हैं लाइक हुकवाम कैन लार्वा कैन बरो हुकवाम क्या होता है हमारी स्किन के अंदर बरो हो जाता है ठीक है फिर ये क्या करता है अंदर से स्किन को डैमेज करता है फिर ये ब्लड स्ट्रीम में जाता है और फिर हमारे बॉडी के डिफरेंट पार्ट्स को क्या करता है डैमेज करता है ठीक है सो ये क्या है सम डिजीजेज है जो कि इन ये सारे क्या है हमारे पास माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैं अब ये देखें कि दिस इज इन्फेक्टेड फूड दिस इज इन्फेक्टेड वाटर सो इफ इफ द इफ दिस पर्सन कैन ईट द दिस इन्फेक्टेड फूड द जर्म्स कैन इंटर इन द बॉडी वेन द फूड इज लेफ्ट इन टू द ओपन समटाइम्स द जर्म्स दट इज बैक्टेरिया एंड फंजाई कैन फॉल ऑन इट एंड द जर्म्स विल बिगिन टू ब्रीड इट इन द फूड ठीक है अगर हम जर्म्स फूड को इस तरह खुला रखेंगे तो जर्म्स उस पर गिरो करते रहेंगे और वो क्या हो जाएंगे हमारी बॉडी के अंदर इंटर हो जाएंगे अब जैसे कि कॉलरा एंड टाइफॉइड और स्प्रीड थ्रू द इन्फेक्टेड फूड एंड वाटर ये इन्फेक्टेड फूड और इन्फेक्टेड वाटर की वजह से डिजीजेज कौन सी होती है कॉलरा एंड टाइफाइड ठीक है दीज टू डिजीजेज आर काज विद द हेल्प ऑफ इन्फेक्टेड फूड एंड इन्फेक्टेड वाटर so we have drink clean water and uh, and non infected food so food poisoning is also a disease which is caused by the bacteria okay so bacteria क्या करता है उस फूड पे ग्रो करता है अगर हम फूड को प्रॉपरली कुक नहीं करेंगे तो जो है वो क्या करेंगे बैक्टीरिया इस पर ग्रो करेंगे ठीक है और फिर उसकी वजह से जो डिजीज़ होगी उसका नाम क्या है फूड पॉइजनिंग so thank you dear students and now your homework is you have to write down which diseases are communicable and which diseases are non communicable what is your homework you have to write down what you have to write down you have to write down your homework is write down examples of communicable and non communicable diseases non communicable and communicable diseases and also you have to read book page number 14 and 15 very well and आपने क्या करना है इस दोनों पेजेस को पढ़ना है सही से के प्रोटोजोन से लेकर कहाँ तक जहाँ तक आज मैंने पढ़ाया है ठीक है और कोई भी आपको कंफ्यूजन हो तो यू मैम आस्क थैंक यू हैव अ गुड डे